हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द एलिट क्लास आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद आर टूडेज टॉपिक दैट इज रोडिशियन मैप सो स्टार्टिंग विद द इंट्रोडक्शन द मीनिंग ऑफ रोडिशियन मैन कम्स फ्रॉम द मैन ऑफ रोडिशिया दिस इज कॉल्ड मैन ऑफ रोडिशिया बिकॉज इट इट्स फर्स्ट फॉसिल वॉज फाउंड इन द जिंक माइन ऑफ ब्रोकन हिल्स इन द नॉर्दर्न रोडिशिया ऑफ खाफे जाम्बिया एरिया दिस इज अ प्लेस इन द कंट्री ऑफ जाम्बिया एंड वेर इन अ जिंक माइन वी फाउंड द फॉसिल्स ऑफ द रोडिशियन मैन द टाइम स्पैन दैट मीन्स हाउ ओल्ड इज द फॉसिल्स ऑफ रोडिशियन मैन इट इज सेड दैट इट इज पॉइंट थ्री टू पॉइंट वन टू फाइव मिलियन ईयर्स ओल्ड दिस होल फैक्ट वॉज प्रूव एंड डिस्क्राइब बाय द पाई क्रॉफ्ट एट एल इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी एट मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वी कम टू द फिजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ द रोडिशियन मैन द क्रेनियल कैपेसिटी ऑफ रोडिशियन मैन इज ट्वेल्व एटी टू फोर्टीन हंड्रेड सी सी इट हैज डॉलिकोसिफिलिक हेड दैट मीन्स इट इज क्वाइट लॉन्गर इन लेंथ एंड इट इज नैरोवर इन द ब्रेथ सो द फोरम एन मैगनम इज सिमिलर टू द मॉडर्न मैन नाउ इट्स फोरम एन मैगनम दैट इज द फोरम एन मैगनम इज एक्चुअली द होल इन द स्कल थ्रू विच द स्पाइन पासिस इट इज एंटीरियरली प्लेसड इन द रोडिशियन मैन and it occupies a central position which indicate a perfect balance of the skull on the vertebral column giving a upright position giving an upright position to the uh, structure or to the uh, rodician map now the shape and size of the teeth are similar to that of a modern man the canines in the rodician man they are reduced to the level of other teeth the molars have very remarkable breadth in comparison to their length and the pulp cavities are not that enlarged the bro ridges present in the rodician man resemble to these chimpanzees and their bro ridges are larger than any other fossil man we have moving forward we have other features are the prominent supra orbital ridge with the receding forehead let's have a look on the diagram given below this is the skull of the rodician man and this is the receding forehead and this is the prominent supra orbital ridge now coming back to our previous slide the rodician skull though is low vaulted yet it shows human like expansion of the parietal ridge now what is the vault of head it is simply in it's a case in which the brain is protected though the rodician man skull looks somewhat like this so the skull is quite low in the vault that means the space to protect the brain is smaller but yet its parietal expansion is uh similar like that of the humans the sacrum the pelvis and the leg bones are quite like humans they have no feature resembling with the ape feature their joints are quite robust and massive and the post cranial features are similar to that of the homo sapiens moving forward in the physical features their nasal aperture is very large and the orbits are high and massive let's have a look on the diagram so this is the skull of the rodician man and you will see that the nasal aperture is quite large and the orbits are quite high as well as massive now these are quite high because we know the bro ridges are quite larger in them they have enormous bro ridges like this if you see the actual skull and mm -hmm. the orbits are also quite larger in size their cheek bone cheek bones are also very prominent as you can see in this this uh, arc is showing the cheek bone being prominent so this is the 
completely stronger cheekbone so these are some physical features of the rhodesian man now moving forward to the cultural status of the rhodesian man the tools made of of the stones and the uh, broken bones of animals were used by the rhodesian man the tools made of the these two were used by the rhodesian man and these implements these tools they are uh, considered to be similar to that of the modern bushmen but we do not have enough evidences to prove this fact so that is why uh, this is not a proved concept but yet it is considered that these implements have quite similarities with that of the bushmen of the modern day moving forward to the phylogeny the evolutionary status of the rhodesian man it is showing a divergence between the neanderthal and the homo sapiens now this divergence is simply that some think some of the anthropologists think that the rhodesian man shows similarity to the with the neanderthal man and others think they are quite resembling with the homo sapiens now skull at the first glance it resembles to homo neanderthalensis but according to the woodward so according to the woodward the forward position of the foramen magnum brings it closer to the homo sapiens he said like uh, in the hom humans the foramen magnum is anteriorly placed in the same way has the rhodesian skull so which gives it resemblance more to the homo sapiens rather than to the neanderthal moving forward pycroft feels that the rhodesians does not have the erect position and it is indicated through the pelvis so that is why pycroft has placed the rhodesian man in the siphonthropus rhodensian siphonthropus rhodensians now in the opinion of hooton there is a sufficient likeness between neanderthal and the rhodesian so it is said that according to pycroft and according to the hooton they consider rhodesian is similar to that of the uh, neanderthal rather than homo sapien but according to woodward the rhodesian is very much closer in resemblance to the homo sapiens moving forward in the phylogeny it is sometimes referred to as the african neanderthal but due to the dominant view places it's more closer to the modern map in the recent findings of proceedings of national academy of science usa the rhodesian man have walked erectly it has walked erectly sorry it's missing here and in the based on wear marks on the hip joints that means these marks on the hip joints had uh, made it a finding that the rhodesian man walked erect so he was erect and it's having the wear marks on the hip joint which shows that their position was erect so this is all in our rhodesian man i hope you all have liked this video and if you have liked this video kindly give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet kindly do subscribe to it we'll meet you in the next lecture thank you so much